Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and in this video, we are going to set up Kubernetes as a cluster using Ansible. In our demonstration, we are using one as a proxy machine for the load balancer, one Ansible workstation to play the playbooks for the Kubernetes cluster, three Kubernetes master machine, and one worker machine. Let's start by writing ansible host or inventory file i am using visual studio to write the ansible playbooks this is my inventory file for kubernetes setup one machine for the load balancer three machine for kubernetes master one machine for ansible workstation and one machine for kubernetes worker i will explain this inventory file in detail we are creating the first playbook to update the local host file on all machine so that all machine can communicate with each other by the host name this is the playbook for updating the host file i am going to run this playbook on all host in inventory k at s it is going to be execute on h a proxy masters worker and ansible this playbook is updating this file on all remote machine with this file content this is the ninja file i am running a loop in k at s group from inventory these are ansible variables these variables are collected from the host by using this parameter in the first variable we are using ip address from eth1 in the second variable we are using host fully qualified domain name in last variable we are using the host name let's go ahead and play this playbook it has been completed let's verify yes this playbook updated local host file with required records i can pin the fully qualified domain name in this playbook we are going to install and configure ha proxy on ha proxy machine i am going to install ha proxy then stopping ha proxy service and then i am modifying the ha proxy configuration file with my customized ha proxy configuration file this is my customized ha proxy configuration file ha proxy load balancer will listen on port 80 and forward the traffic on backend this is the backend configuration this is the address of kubernetes api kubernetes api will listen on port 6443 ha proxy load balancer will transfer the traffic on each kubernetes master machine on port 6443 go ahead and run it this playbook is getting executed only on ha proxy server ha proxy load balancer has been installed and configure let's verify this is my ha proxy machine yes ha proxy service is running on my ha proxy machine load balancer url is down at this moment because we haven't installed and configured the kubernetes on master machines in next ansible playbook we are completing all the pre request on all master machines and these are three machines in master group we are going to install the docker then we are going to 
enable and start the docker service then we are going to disable hc linux all three machines after that we are rebooting the machines once reboot completed we are configuring the kubernetes repo to install the kubernetes components we installing the kubernetes components kubelets kubeadm kubectl and then we are enabling and starting kubelet service in this task we are configuring the ip tables for that we are copying the content from this file to this file on remote master machines this is the file content and reloading the system ctl config for the ip tables and finally we are disabling the swap file on all three machines let's go ahead and play this playbook this playbook is going to take some time it depends on your network This Ansible playbook completed all the steps that is required to set up the Kubernetes as a cluster on all three master machines. In next playbook, we are going to initialize the Kubernetes master machine or node in a cluster. This playbook is going to execute only on one server that is going to be a leader in kubernetes as a cluster based on our inventory file 101 server is going to be a leader in kubernetes cluster environment we initializing the kubernetes master node by using the load balancer url this is the ansible variables and we are using this ansible variable to advertise the api server on kubernetes master node these are ports network configuration. We are taking or writing the outcome of cube ADM initialization command into output and we are saving the content of output into the token file on local machine. We are moving the config file on the right location with the right permission and finally we are installing the Celico network for our Kubernetes environment, let's go ahead and play this playbook. It has been completed. Let's verify the first master machine in Kubernetes as a cluster. This is first machine in Kubernetes as a cluster. Yes, it successfully added into cluster. All ports are up and running. Load balancer URL also up and online for the API. A token file also created. We require to extract this information from the token file to add another master machine in cluster. So let's write another playbook. By using this Ansible playbook, we are adding two master in Kubernetes cluster. These are two machines is going to be added into Kubernetes as a cluster. We require this information to add nodes in a Kubernetes as a cluster and we are saving this information into master token file. We also require to add one more parameters for the advertise address. After completing this steps, our new token looks like this. 
it added an additional parameter for node 2 and node 3 and we are copying the master token from this location on local ansible machine to this location on kubernetes master machine and execute this cell script to add new master machine in a cluster go ahead and play this playbook task has been completed we successfully added two more machine in kubernetes cluster let's verify yes master 2 and master 3 machines has been successfully added into kubernetes as a cluster let's add worker machine in kubernetes as a cluster in this playbook we are preparing worker machine to add in Kubernetes master machine. This playbook will install and configure the required software and settings on worker machines. At this moment, we are using a single machine for the worker node. We have already discussed all the steps in master pre-request playbook let's go ahead and play this playbook it is going to take some time All the components has been installed and configured on the worker machine. Now worker machine is ready to add in Kubernetes cluster. Let's write a playbook to add worker machine in Kubernetes cluster. We require token to add worker machine in Kubernetes cluster. We already saved all the token in the token file. We require this token to add worker machine in Kubernetes cluster. To complete this activity, we have created this Ansible playbook. This task will extract token from the token file and save to worker token file. And then we are copying the worker token on worker machine and finally we are running the worker join command let's go ahead and play this playbook the playbook has been successfully executed Let's verify the status of worker machine in Kubernetes cluster. Yes, worker machine successfully added into Kubernetes cluster. For the demonstration, I only use one worker machine for the Kubernetes cluster. So this is the end-to-end -end Ansible automation to set up the Kubernetes as a cluster, you can convert all the playbooks, files and templates in Ansible roles or Ansible Galaxy. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.